Hello, welcome. Civil Engineering Online. Subject is Design of Pre-Stressed Concrete Structures. Module 4, Design of Sections for Shear. So, continuing from the previous module that ultimate shear resistance of peer stress concrete members, I am here Ravi B. Tilaganji for the video class. Continuing for the section, ultimate shear resistance for pre-stressed concrete members. There are two major modes of shear cracking in structural concrete beams. First, web shear crack. Second is flexure shear crack. So, let us see what is web shear cracks. These type of cracks generally starts from the interior point when the local and principal tensile stress exceeds the tensile strength of concrete. Web shear cracks are likely to develop in highly pre-stressed beams with thin webs particularly when the beam is subjected to large concentrated loads near a simple support. The ultimate shear resistance of pre-stressed concrete sections with web shear cracking but without flexure cracks is mainly governed by the limiting value of the principal tensile stress developed in concrete. The failure is assumed to take place when the principal tension exceeds the tensile strength of the concrete. This part of the figure is able to see that web shears and flexure shears. So, this web shears is from the interior point when local and principal tensile stresses starts exceeding the tensile strength of concrete. As we know concrete is weak in tensile strength and strong in compression strength. So, these are the more prominent cracks which may act always in the concrete structures. If VCW equals to ultimate shear resistance of concrete in a section due to web shear cracks. BW breadth of the web of a member, H overall depth of a member, FCP compressive pre-stress at the centroid of a section, FT tensile strength of concrete, S statical moment, first moment of area, I second moment of inertia, moment of inertia, to V maximum shear stress at failure. For the condition at failure equating the minor principal stress with the tensile strength of concrete, we get FCP by 2 minus half square root of FCP square plus 4 tau V square equals to minus FT and FCP 2 minus 1 by 2 FCP square plus 4 in bracket tau V is VCWSIB tau V is from the previous video which we have taken VS by IB square is equals to minus FT. Further, on simplification, we are able to find the equation as VCW is equals to BW into bracket 1 I by S moment of inertia divided by statical moment square root of FT square plus FCP FT. The values of I by S varies from 0.67 H for rectangular sections to 0.85 H for flanged sections. Indian Standard Code IS 1343 1980 specify a modified version of this relation given by VCW is equals to 0 0.67 BW into H square root of FT square plus 0.8 FCP into FT. The same is an in the IS 1343 on page number 46 in this format. VCO is equals to 0.67 BD square root of FT square plus 0.8 FCP FT where B is BW, D is H and VCW is considered as VCO in IS 141343 where B is breadth of the member which for T, I and L beams should be replaced by breadth of the rib that is BW. 
D. Overall depth of the member replaced in place of H. F. T. Maximum principal stress given by 0.24 square root of F C K taken as positive where F C K is the characteristic compressive strength of the concrete and F C P. Compressive stress at centroidal axis due to pre-stress taken as positive in which the value of 0.67 H is somewhat lower for planted sections. This together with reduced value 0.8 FCP results in conservative estimates of the shear resistance of flanged sections. If there are inclined cables, the shear force VCW is increased by an amount equal to the vertical component of pre-stressing force. In the above expression, computing VCW, the tensile strength of concrete may be assumed as Ft is equal to 0.24 square root of FCK. Second, the flexural shear cracks. These types of cracks are first initiated by flexural cracks in the inclined direction. These cracks when develop the combined shear and flexural tensile stresses produce a principal tensile stress exceeding the tensile strength of concrete. In members without shear reinforcement, the inclined shear cracks extends to the Ex comp compression phase resulting in sudden explosive failures. This is the flexural shear cracks. They start from this side of the members and try to come in the center. So, it is increasing pattern. The recommendations of IS standard code for computation of the ultimate shear resistance VCF of the section cracked in flexure. VCF is equal to into bracket 1 minus 0 0.55 FPE divided by FP tau C BWD plus M naught by M into V wherein it should not be less than 0 0.1 BWD under root of FCA where FP is effective pre-stress after all losses which shall not be put together greater than 0.6 FP. FP characteristic strength of pre-stressing steel. Tau C ultimate shear stress capacity of concrete compiled in table. So, this is the table from where we are able to have the value of Tau C as design shear strength of concrete. So, here we are able to get that AP by BD multiplied by 100 means this is percentage of pre-stressing area of tendon which is 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 so on till 3 percent and as compared for concrete grades M30, M35 and M40 and above where BW is equal to breadth of the member which for flanged sections shall be taken as the breadth of the web. D effective depth of tendons. M not moment necessary to produce zero stress in the concrete at extreme tension fiber. M not is equal to 0.8 times into bracket FPT moment of inertia multiplied by divided by YB. The distance of bottom fiber where FPT is compressive concrete stress at the extreme tension fiber due to effective pre-stressing force. I moment of inertia of the section YB distance of extreme tension fiber from centroid of the beam section V and M shear force and bending moment respectively at the section considered due to the ultimate Share force. Hope you all have understood the topic. See you in the next topic design of share enforcement IS1343 1980. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe the video. Thank you so much.